Yo, what is going on, y'all? It is your boy, Classic Craig, or Craig's Classics, however y'all say it. Just don't forget that my name is Craig, and today we are back. <clears throat> I guess you could say we're back with another gameplay that uh, I did a while ago on my channel. I don't know if you guys remember or if you even seen, but a while ago, probably about a year, if not more than a year ago, I played this cool demo for this game called Backbone. Um, it's basically like uh, 2D platformer, but you're not really, it's not really like action pack as far as from what I can see from the demo, but you're like this private and get investigator. All the characters are like animals. It has this really cool pixel art style. And it was a demo that had me intrigued and the full game has now released and I purchased it. And so we're gonna jump back into it. Um, I'm gonna replay the first level because who knows what they added since releasing the full game. Uh, that was basically the demo of the prolude it was basically just the first level of the game that we played before but i'm gonna replay it see if anything's new in there and then uh see you know how this goes this, this is a pretty intriguing demo when i played it so i definitely want to check it out um if you guys are excited if you want to see more of this I almost dropped my controller <laughs> make sure you leave a like down below comment some games you want to see me play and as always if you haven't yet please hit that subscribe button man i'm trying to get back into it full time so hitting that subscribe button would definitely help me out um man it was something else i was gonna say forgot but without further ado man let's go ahead and jump into this i got my controller plugged up because this does support controller so let's go ahead and jump into it man i'm gonna go into the city we're gonna see if anything is new and if so you'll see this you know the clip that's coming up is going to be me playing through the city showing off the new stuff if not just go back and watch the old video the demo is basically the same thing if nothing's changed and we'll get into the second level when i get there peace All right, y'all, so <clears throat> as you can see, nothing, uh, nothing's changed in the beginning, but this is where we left off on that first episode. We find, uh, Jez's dead body. All right. So yeah, this is, uh, on the first, I don't know why it's not letting me stand up. Oh, there I go. On the first episode, this is where we left off. We found bro body crazy twist at the end and i was like yo i need to play some more to see what happened here because this was supposed to be just a simple case of some uh of somebody cheating turns into a murder case man so now that we found out nothing changed in the first level i'm gonna go ahead and get out of here and we're gonna get to the uh how the free do i get out of here oh there we go we're gonna get to the second part this, this soundtrack is crazy, man. About to throw up. Yeah, found out that the boy Greg was killed at the bite. That's the club he was dead every single night. Got a call from his girl, he said he cheating on his wife, like, dang, Greg, I mean, Jazz. All right, <laughs> so this is this is all I know. Up to this point, I have no idea what's about to happen because, again, the demo was literally just that. So act two, connection. Let's get into this, man. This is the actual start of the video, guys. Uh, so I have to get my voice acting on because there's no, you just read it, like I said, so. <clears throat> They were butchering him to dispose of the body or something worse than that. No, that's crazy. People don't eat people. They were dismembering corpses and putting them into boxes. I heard stories about ritualistic cannibalism in the past. F Every time I close my eyes, I see him lying there. What the f am I going to do? This is so f have a have a deputy do something. Oh, I have a duty to do something. I should tell the police. What am I going to tell Odette? Yeah, what am I going to tell Odette? Because she's my client. So that's what I'm thinking about right now. How about the truth? The truth might be too harsh for her. Your husband was butchered in the basement of some sleazy bar. I was there, F no, Howard. 
I'll just call her and wing it. Lie, tell her if she ran off with someone, drag it out. I'll just call her and wing it. Maybe it's for the best that he's gone. I have a duty to do something. But what the f can I do on my own? I have to stop anyone else being butchered like that. Great idea. Just ask Clarissa Bloodworth nicely. I'm sure she'll understand my concern. I could spread the word. Contact newspaper. I could go back and get some evidence. I was luckily lucky to make it out alive the first time. I'm not going back in there. I can't. Uh, this is my chance to do something meaningful. This might be the most important case I've ever had. This is my chance to do something meaningful because from what I can see of what I'm getting from our boy Howard, he doesn't really feel like he's amount to anything. His family think he's a bum. They don't consider his private investigating a real job, even though he has his own business. So this is his chance to actually prove himself and, you know, make a difference. So we're going we're gonna to get this, Howard. We're going to get bro. Um, I don't want to spend the, I, I don't want to spend my life snapping cheaters and finding stolen watches. I also don't want to die though. Uh, if I'm getting into some serious crimes, there's a high possibility that I could get killed. But it's a chance to make a difference, man. Yeah, I just don't want, I just don't want to be alive sometimes. F. I wish someone would tell me what to do. I wish I had someone to talk to. I'm fine. I can do this alone. Just like everything before this, this might be the most important case I've ever had. But is it worth the risk? I should tell the police. Why Jez? What did he do? Could he have just been in the wrong place at the wrong time? Or what if he's not the first? How many people has Bloodworth killed? It's impossible to know for sure. Maybe I don't even want to know. I should tell the police. Is that even really going to work? What would I even tell them? Bloodworth probably has some sort of immunity. Yeah, she's she's big boss status, so she probably has connects. Uh, no way she's doing something like this without someone high up covering for her. What would I even tell them? Hi, I broke into private property and I like to report a butchering. They probably arrest me for trespassing and ignore the rest. Yeah, honestly. Yeah, I don't want to answer the question they asked me. So the police are out of the question. Think, Howard, think. I have no clue what to do. I'm useless. Why me? F this. Maybe if I could drink enough, I'll forget about it. Let's give it a go. Start drinking. Um, bro, bro, kill the whole bottle. I'm finna drink with you, how with some water. And a little mixer. Now, aside from everything seemingly being the same on the uh, the first mission that I just did, let's get into these graphics, yo. This jane looks clean for it to be pixelated. You know what I'm saying? Like for it to just be a bunch of pixels. This, this is a surprise. I love the art style. Uh, soundtrack, fire, music, fire. You know what I'm saying? Uh, let's get into this. Hey, see boy, let's have a chat. I'm walking here, man. Like, what's up, bro? Yeah, where you headed? Why do you care? Fellas, it's been a long night to your mama's place, man. Let's just, we, we seen some ish, man. Let's just go all in. Say that again. Come on. Come on, stab me. I don't care, bro. Ain't gonna be that easy, matey. Now it's time for Pain City. Go on, show me what big boys you are. Oh, snap. They really... <laughs> oh, snap. Yo, they really beat me up. Oh, bro, just spit on me. Oh, get the gun. Get the gap, bro. We gotta, we gotta shoot that man. Who is that? A is that a fox? She looks like a... I think that's a fox. This, uh, is that a girl or who is this? Okay, so I don't know if she's like in the mafia or if she was with them guys that just jumped me. Renee. Oh, oh, we met her in the, um, in the club on the first mission. She's the one who knew that I was lying about being there just to get drinks. Okay. Uh, okay, Howard Loader. We're safe here. You can relax. You relax. I'm relaxed. Don't sass me. Let's talk. What about? All right, let me get things started. Go ahead. I'm a writer. I've been researching Clarissa Bloodworth for a book on power and influence I'm working on. Why are you interested in her? Uh, she's maybe the most unofficially powerful person in the city. Since she took over as head of her family, she's she's been expanding. New drugs, high profile visitors to the bite and more. Visitors? Did you know there's a VIP lounge upstairs at the bar? Super exclusive. Some real influential guys have been there. I'm talking top bankers, senior police, and even apes. Dang, so are apes like, you know, like that, like uh, Rockefeller, you know what I'm saying, in this, in this world? 
I'm studying different forms of power and investigating who really holds the most influential or who, who holds the most influence in the city. Uh, that's a worthy call. Sound like you're in over your head. And what's that going? That's a worthy cause. Let's just stay on her good side because she's helping me out right now. I'm glad you think so. I can make a difference this time. No one has really done this work before. How did you find me in the park? Well, I left the bite just after you got kicked out. Saw you running around. I wonder what madness you were up to. Just the usual night for me, man. Just getting into some crazy stuff. I staked out the alley behind the bite on a hunch. Then 20 minutes later, bingo, puking raccoon. Uh, I've got a sensitive stomach. Could have been the usual back alley puking. Glad you enjoyed the show. That's all right. Then I followed you, hoping to ask what happened. Not sure why I let you drink the whole bottle first. Glad you found me, honestly, because they were about to kill me, bro. I was talking reckless. Not even going to lie, Renee. All right, let's hope it was worth my while. Why am I here? What do you want from me? First, I want you to trust me like I trusted you. Now, what did you find at the bite? I don't want to get nobody else wrapped up in this, Renee. You seem cool, but from what I seen, man, they are not playing. Wouldn't it feel nice to share the burden with someone? Yeah, that would be nice, though. I'm here to listen. I can help. What did you find? It's a long story. Start from the beginning. On our way here, you told me you were a private investigator. What led you to the bite in the first place? My case. What's the case? I was hired to track a guy. Take some photos. Hmm. Why? What's his deal? Mm, not sure or well, yeah, not sure. That's what I was trying to find out. Uh, I see. Did you find him? Yes. His corpse. What? Where? In the bite basement. They were cutting up my target into pieces. Gut. What the F? <laughs> yeah, bro. That's what I said. Uh, yeah. What the F? That's what I said. Gutting him like a fish. There were other bodies hanging from the ceiling. Divided his flesh into neat little chunks. I saw boxes of flesh. It wasn't just one body. Are you effing joking? I wish I was. Let me get this straight. Bloodworth is cutting up people in the basement of the bite and then putting them into boxes. Hence the puking. Hence the reason I threw up as soon as you see me. I wouldn't put killing people past her, but this? Why? Maybe she eats them. I don't think so, but someone else might. No wonder you puke. Damn, what the fuck? I didn't ask for this. I'm not a murder detective. Okay, wow, it was really an eventful night for you. What are you gonna do now? I gotta keep my ish together, man. I gotta get back onto this case, because again, this is this is my chance to, to show the people that this is a real deal. You know what I'm saying? My job is really a job, bro. Exactly, then what's our plan? Since when is it our plan, man? I know you wanna help, but I don't want you getting involved in this, Renee, you seem sweet. Since I followed you through the city all night and rescued your soggy ass from a puddle, I have a proposition. What is it? I want to invite you on an adventure. Could you be more specific? Work with me. Let's find out the truth about Bloodworth. She's clearly more dangerous than I thought. She is, but what could we do? I've never had a partner before, but my gut feeling says I can trust you. You found something that I couldn't, and you owe me one. Mm -hmm, Renee? <laughs> trust me, baby girl. You know what I'm saying? You want to trust me? I trust you. We build trust together. Trust turns into a little relationship. I don't know why all girl characters, you know, the first time we meet them, that's who we think our love interest going to be. We could definitely meet another raccoon or something. But for right now, Renee, keep your eyes on me, baby. All right. Now we got to call up dad. Oh, my gosh, bro. We got to tell her that her husband is dead. Oh, that this is Detective Loader. Sorry to call so early. Mr. Loader, my husband didn't come home tonight. Did you see him? Um, I'm not sure how to put it. I'm sure it's nothing worse than I've imagined. So please, Mr. Loader, put me out of my misery. Listen, you should file a missing person report. Oh, oh, Shepard. Please just try to, this is goodbye with that. But please, wait. Dang. I thought I was going to be able to tell her, like, exactly what happened, but I guess not. Who are you going to call? A Natalie. Tholi. A Natalie. Howie? You're free today. For you always, what's hanging? <laughs> is it a pear or a peach? Um, what was I saying? Pick me up at nine. I'm paying for the day. You bet. Howie and Tully, the dynamic duo of, of detective boy partners. Crime lords, beware. Might be fun, actually. Heck yeah, where do I pick you up? One second. Renee, what's the address? Tell him to pick you up outside of 1640 Alberni Street. It's a block away from here. Thanks, Tully. 1640 Alberni. You know it? Yep, in the docks. Wait, Howie, who's Renee? Who is she? None of your business. Can't wait. Gotta run. The poopy lad is being cranky. Dad life. Drive you soon. Bro said dad life and hung up the phone, man. Like he was in a game. I'm weak. 
Hey. So what's the case? <laughs> Time you stamp your name on the world. H O W A R D. It's not about my name, bro. I just gotta do what's right, you feel me? So is Natalie the proper term for a beaver? Hey guys, post edit Craig here. Um or post production, whatever you want to call it. Um where I just cut the video off that's going to be the end of this episode because i have a lot of footage apparently and i didn't want the video to get too long so we're going to end it here and then we're going to pick up when you see the next episode i'm going to literally be wearing the same outfit i took a shower guys but we're going to pick up and it's just going to be a continuation from this video because i have a whole nother 15 minutes of, of footage to put into this video and i didn't want the video to get too long so leave a like and stay tuned for the next episode peace